Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope you have seen the previous lecture. So far we have discussed data storage and uh, the representation of different file formats such as text, such as images and uh, sound. That how a computer interprets these files or stores these files in a binary language. Now our next subtopic of uh, data representation is a data compression so let's have a look at what compression is compression is the process of reducing the size of a digital file it may be an image file it may be a text file a dot docs file a dot ppt or present powerpoint file it may be an excel file or it may be a movie file regardless of whatever type of file it is as long as it is a digital file then the process of compression means they're trying to reduce or actually reducing uh, its size it is done for following benefits in order to take up uh, less storage on the hard drive to use less bandwidth when uploading or downloading the file and to send the file faster or you can also write this as to send the file in less time and also to lower operational cost especially when you are using cloud storage because in cloud storage or online storages the more gbs of data you store online then the more you have to pay them annually or uh, monthly according to whatever type of subscription you have okay there are two types of uh, compression lossy and lossless each method reduces the number of bits in a file or reduces the file size but they both have a different approach to it lossy file compression it removes the unnecessarily bits from the file permanently you can if you transform or if you compress a file through lossy encryption or sorry lossy file format or lossy algorithm then you cannot get the original file back it cannot be reconstructed for example you may convert a video file from uh, any of the video format into mp3 but you would not be able to reconstruct the original file from the mp3 you cannot convert an mp3 file into a video file or mp4 file it's not possible now we use lossy file compression when we are streaming videos online such as on youtube or any other uh, movie websites uh, if you do not have a very good internet connection or you are uh, browsing the internet on data connection then you can simply choose uh, 720p or uh, 360p instead of playing the video in 1080hd the second type of file compression is lossless file compression in lossless file compression file size is reduced by using different algorithms and uh, one of them does one of them which is actually in your syllabus as well it basically uh, deletes the repeated words in a file temporarily so that the file size can be reduced as each character needs a memory space so it just deletes the repeated words and stores them in code form and when the original file is when the file is uncompressed or the user wants the original file back then those words are put back into the file so in this way no data is lost while uh, uncompressing the file for example it is used when you are sending code for a program when you are downloading the installer file or the exe file from the internet for a software and so on or because when if you are uh, downloading the code for our software the installer file or if you are downloading a script from for the internet if you use lossy compression and uh, part of the code is deleted forever then that code would not be able to work on your computer you need all the bits in order for the software or the code to run now there are a few file formats uh, which you should know uh, there are three file formats for lossy compression and uh, one file format for the lossless compression so let's uh, have a look at them the first one is the mp3 file format these are audio files which use audio compression to remove the sound that are beyond or on the boundaries of human audible range hence compressing the file size for up to 90 percent 
what the mp file mp3 file does it first of all it deletes or discards all the data related to the pictures or images or animations or video the second thing it does it uses a technique that is known as perpetual sound shaping what is the meaning of perpetual sound shaping that if two sounds are being played simultaneously mean if two sounds are being played together then your human ear then your ears the human ears they can only perceive the louder sound and they would not be able to recognize the softer sound so mp3 file format at such places completely removes the data for the softer sound because it would not be hearable by humans anyway and when it does that repeatedly the overall file size is reduced this is known as perpetual sound shaping so if the examiner asks you about mp3 file format then you have to mention this perpetual sound shaping as well as the part that uh, they remove the sound that are beyond or on the boundaries of human audible range and uh, next thing it can compress the file size for up to 90 percent for example if you have an mp4 file of let's say 100 mbs and you convert it into mp3 then the file size for the newly made mp3 file would just be around 9 or 10 mbs the next format which we have is mp4 format and it is a standard for viewing videos online it uh, allows the storage of images videos and animations okay it reduces quality in order to save a bandwidth when streaming videos online like uh, you can easily uh, confirm that if you get a dvd of a movie from the market then the dvd is going to be somewhere about uh, from 2.5 gbs to uh, something like 3 gbs or more whereas if you browse the same fi uh, movie over the internet or if you download it in mp4 from the internet then you would see the file size is uh, just 600 to 800 mbs so mp3 basically reduces the screenplay quality so that the file size can be reduced whereas it tries its best to mimic the original quality <coughs> So that the user does not feel much of a difference or much of a drop in the quality the next uh, is an image format that is a jpg jpeg or jpg format it is a it stands for joint photographic experts group it is an image format that is used to reduce file size of images as i told you before as well that if you have a dslr camera and you click an image from that then that is a raw file and uh, a raw file means that it is not processed and it contains all of the uh, information about each and every shade of color in the picture raw files are anywhere from 25 mb to 50 mb per file whereas if you convert them in jpg then the file size can be reduced by 5 to 15 percent the new file size would be anywhere between 5 mb to 8 mb now what the uh, jpeg or jpg format does as uh, we when we were discussing pixels uh, we saw that there can be the pixels can represent about 16 million colors the human eyes cannot perceive that many colors or it cannot differentiate between shades of so many colors the human eye can hardly recognize about 1600 colors even if you have very exceptional eyes you still would not be able to identify uh, more than 2200 or uh, 3000 colors now what about the other colors out of 16 million so what you can do is so what the jpg does that it completely deletes information about those shades of colors which the human eye cannot perceive or cannot distinguish like uh, there may be around um, 4 million different shades of red but you cannot differentiate between them because human eyes are not that much capable so for the few hundred shades of red which the human eyes can recognize jpg is going to leave intact whereas the other uh, millions of shades of red which the human eye cannot differentiate the jpg format would simply delete it or convert it into simple red so overall you would feel like that the image quality is the same but on the background, the information for all of the colors which you cannot see 
is deleted so since a lot of bits are deleted in this process the file size reduces exponentially uh, then there is some detail about it which you can read that how it works it works by discarding shades of color which can't be or barely can be recognized by human eye by separating pixel colors from brightness images can be split into 8 by 8 pixel blocks which then allows certain information to be discarded from the image without causing any real noticeable deterioration in the quality you cannot basically tell the difference that the quality has been dropped but for the computer the quality or the file size has been dropped exponentially next we have lossless compression and for that uh, the there can be two things one is uh, zipping the file and the other one is a run length encoding rle is in your syllabus but i am going to show you the zip process anyways let's suppose i have this file over here this is 11.6 kbs this is a uh, ms word file now if i made a zip out of it like this now this was 11.6 kb whereas this one is just 9.2 kb so you can see the file size ha has been reduced now even if i delete the original file when i uncompress it i'll get exactly the same file back This is my and this is the file I just uncompressed and see it is back to 11.6 KB. There, so if the examiner asks you for a, a file format that is uh, uh, that uses lossless compression, you can write a .zip or a .rar file format, or you can write a .winzip or .winrar. That would be acceptable. Now uh, the part. The part which or the type of lossless compression that is a part of your syllabus that is RLE run length encoding. It can be used for lossless compression for a number of file formats, for example, text files, for example, image files, and so on. Now, how it works is that it form uh, it it reduces the size of a string of adjacent data, for example, repeated words or repeated colors in an image are repeating string. A repeating string is encoded into two values the first value represents the number of ident identical data items and the next value represents the value uh, <coughs> the value of the repeating character in ascii rle is only effective when there is a long run of repeated units or bits for example I know it may be difficult for you to understand so let's have a look at an example so you can understand it better using RLE on text data let's suppose you have this string let's suppose you have this string okay you have uh, about six A's four B's you have four A's six B's and three C's okay now if as we have read in as key that a one character takes about one byte so that means this whole string is going to take about 13 bytes now using rle this can be encoded into how many a's do we have four so we are going to write four and uh, what the value and it is would be followed by the value of small a in ascii that is 97 so the code for this part would be 0497 next we have six b's so we'll we are going to write 06 and the code for b in ascii is 98 so it is there and then we have c whose value is 99 and there are three c's so we write it as 0399 now if each rl now each rle code requires two bytes one byte for this part that uh, what was the number of repeating characters and one byte for the ascii code so two four and six now this code is only going to take six bytes whereas this one would require 13 bytes so as you can see using rle on text data has means that you have reduced the file size by almost 50 percent in fact more than 50 percent similarly if we use rle on images 
this uh, how it does how it compresses the size of an image is that it uh, group together repeating pixels and store how many times they occur for example uh, this is a sample picture and it, this picture is a grid of 9 <clears throat> by 10 pixels this is this small square box depicts one pixel so there are nine tens are 90 pixels and if each pixels take three bytes since this is a colored picture then you are going to need 270 kbs for storing this file now how rle uh, calculates its compressed file is that it counts how many uh, pixels of the same color occur together for example the image starts with white pixels so it is going to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it is going to write the first code as 12w means 12 bytes next it has one two three yellows so it is going to write three y y for yellow and next we have one two three four five five whites five whites and so on the complete code is given on the next slide as well see this would be the compressed code for this image over here and the new file size would only be 58 bytes because there are 29 pairs now available one two three four and so on these are 29 pairs and uh, since one pair is of two bytes as we discussed above so this code is only going to take 58 bytes or this compression would only take 58 bytes whereas the actual file is going to take 270 bytes it is almost one fourth of the actual file size so i hope you have understood the topic please feel free to contact me if you have any problem next we are going to have a few practice questions an mp3 file compression reduces the uh, size of a music file by 90%. A music track is 80 MB in size. Calculate the file size after compression. You simply, if the original file is of 80 MB, then the uh, after conversion to mp3, 90% would be reduced. So that means about 8 MB would be left. How many mp3 files of the size calculated above could be stored on an 800 MB CD? If one file is of 8 MB, then on 800 MB, you can store 100 files. Explain how MP3 file retains most of the original music quality. Over here, you'll talk about perpetual sound shaping and you will also tell that it discards all the sounds which cannot be heard by human ear or which are outside the audible range of a human ear and you'll get your both marks. State the type of file compression used in MP3, that is lossy, name another file compression that means you have to give an example of loss lossless file uh, formats they can be winzip they can be gi gif or gif they can be um, they can be uh, yeah uh, zip rar gif you can write these then there is another question. Gurdeep wants to send a large file to Jennifer. State two benefits of compressing the file. Two type, uh, two benefits. Saves time. It take. It is easy to upload and download. Um, it the file would be sent quickly. You can write any one of these. Any two of these because this is our two mark question. Two types of compression are lossy and lossless. Choose the most suitable type of compression. Downloading the code for a program. You are going to need a lossless compression for that and the reason you are going to write is because if any uh, of the bits of the program codes are lost then they uh, you would not be able to run the program on your pc streaming a video file for that you can use a lossy file compression you can stream the video online on mp3 file format it would reduce the quality but it would be still be enough to enjoy the movie if you cannot get the answers on your own then there are answers on slide number 11 and 12 as well you can uh, verify yours from them or you may use these as guiding points to write your answers next we have two questions you guys are going to solve two questions as assignment uh, one is related to 
in fact both of them are related to compression okay so i want you guys to give the heading of data compression and afterwards solve these two practice questions in your copy and afterwards solve these two assignment questions in your copy okay if you have any problem feel free to ask me take care allah hafiz